Good morning, beautiful. It's Joe again, and welcome back to Fasting Alive Week 45. Uh, it is the beginning of February, and uh, Groundhog Day has come, and apparently it is going to be six more weeks of winter. I had a feeling, given that I still got snow melting off. <laughs> I have had a digestively distressing week. I actually wound up eating four days in a row this week, uh, primarily because I knew that this past Sunday it was a girlfriend's birthday and I wanted to make sure that I could enjoy myself there and that nothing freaked my stomach out. Unfortunately, for the several days preceding that, I had the worst tummy. It was a bloating issue. Um, I'm thinking that as I've cut so many of these foods out of my diet and then get lax with myself and start making worse choices again, even though they don't seem like terrible choices or that bad, I think I'm discovering what foods my stomach isn't particularly truly liking. So I have a suspicion about two particular types of food that might be causing so much of that distress. I mean, there's one day where I kept eating because I was also needing to take Pepto and antacids and anything I could find in the house, gas X. Uh, and I didn't want to be taking those things on an empty stomach, but I was looking for anything that would help settle the situation down because I was burping, I was tooting, uh, everything just felt completely huge and bloated. And uh, then I kept eating so I could medicate that. Uh, but the things that I suspect, I am starting to think that my body doesn't like corn possibly, which means any kind of corn-based chips. Like I, I had a few tortilla chips in the house. I don't even normally keep those in the house, but once again, I tell myself I can't have something, and it doesn't matter if I usually didn't want it, now I want it. Uh, and also, one of the things I had been bringing in as a sweet, natural snack was raisins. And I made the mistake of getting a big container, and which means they were sitting next to me, and whether it's that it was quantity or whether it was the item itself, I suspect it's either corn and or raisins that might have been messing me up. I fasted yesterday. I haven't committed today whether I'm going to fast longer to make up to myself the the four food days in a row. Um, I also have that bathroom work still going on. And my uh, handyman had to take a week off because something bit him while he was under the house. He thought maybe a spider, now we're suspecting maybe a baby snake might have got him because he was in a very small crawl space. He only knew something got him and he's under there brushing it away. He didn't know what it was. He couldn't tell what it was, but he was, there's very powdery, loose dirt under my house and it's a very small crawl space and he was like digging in, trying to shift positions and, and really there's just no telling what got him. I saw it several, like, three days afterwards and was like, oh, no, we're going to the clinic. And they had to drain it and stuff. So I made him take a break because he just keeps going even if he's in pain and he doesn't know how to stop. So I made him take some days off. Um, but we, we're, the point is, he's back into it. As of yesterday, he started uh, putting down the tile. So finally, my bathroom is going to get finished. Um, that does mean, though, that we have to be careful about how I can get on the tile. You're meant to stay off of freshly laid tile for 24 hours uh, to let that uh, adhesive set up underneath without shifting it or breaking it or anything. Um, that being said, uh, it's the bathroom. I can... I'm not I'll, I'm not walking or anything right now. I've been trying to get back to it, but haven't quite got there. Both mentally and weather-wise, it just hasn't happened for me yet. Uh, I talked to myself in my brain about doing it today because it was my morning off and I had free time in the morning I could go. Did I? No. 
I slept and laid in bed and read. Gotta break myself off my books again. I, I think that's half the problem. That's what I missed so much when I was walking so aggressively and so regularly. I missed m laying in bed and reading every once in a while. And, uh, so anyway, I haven't been doing anything overly sweaty, so I can manage to not be able to get to the shower for a day or two. I have friends' houses I can go to. I need to be able to go to the bathroom. Uh, so he laid one side of the tile where I could get to it uh, still to, to, to go potty this morning and last night and stuff. Uh, and then today he's planning to come back in and lay some more tile which will make it harder to get to the toilet and I'll have to be really careful. That being said, I don't know if I want to start eating today, which could lend itself towards needing to get in there urgently while he's working on tiling. So I might be skipping food for the second day in a row just because we're back to the bathroom work again. Uh, and I did owe it to myself, but I also, uh, don't want to ask my body to fast too frequently. Uh, I mean, it's only been two weeks since I did that last 110 hour fast. So I'm going to take it slow. Also, a girlfriend brought me some avocados that were on sale because they were getting super ripe, which means I don't have long to eat them before they go off. So I'm like, well, I kind of need to eat those. So I don't know where I'm at with food for today. Uh, as of this week, though, I actually... Uh, Let's see, since the last time I talked to y'all, I only had three fast days. And then I wound up, uh, one, two, three, four, five, had, had five uh, feast days since then. And like I said, there was quite a bit of digestive distress. Also, my weight was all over the place. Last week when I weighed in, I was at 175.7. So, tiny improvement, no real difference from the previous weigh-in, but I gained like six pounds over that four days of eating, basically, uh, and when I gain weight like that, it all goes directly to my belly. I uh, didn't take very many pictures of myself this week, it didn't really come up, but I did take one while I was at work, and it's all belly. It's all belly. It is entirely not the most flattering thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's definitely, you could see where the bloat and everything. I mean, I was so bloated while this was all happening and this picture was taken. And the midriff was all bloated. The lower belly was bloated. Um, that being said, when I weighed myself yesterday morning, after the four days of eating and after having gone to the birthday party the night before, but after having gone to the bathroom, I had gained 6.4 pounds since last week. I did weigh again this morning though after my day of fasting and my system's a little more flushed through and I was back down to 178.8. That means that even after that fluctuation, I uh, still gained like, where was that, 3 pounds or something? Where'd you go? 3.1 pounds this week. I mean, that's not massive, but it adds up. And I'm still trying to make up what and get back to where I was after I messed myself up over the holidays. And all of this comes down to the fact that I have got to get outside and start walking. So uh, that is pretty much the sum total of this week. Digestive distress, bloat and unhappy tummy, weight gain and massive fluctuations and hesitation on eating today because my bathroom is still being remodeled. <laughs> now, uh, if you have any questions, comments, please do like, subscribe, notification bell, do all the things because I like when I hear from people. Although last week I had some people, uh, uh, my friends had to come in and Save me from somebody commenting on her. Oh, that was that was the thing. Uh, this week, apparently, I have arrived on YouTube World because I now have people randomly coming into one of my older mid 
political posts to tell me how huge I am and how they don't understand how I think I've lost so much weight and they don't know where I started, but hey, my skin looks pretty. Uh, lady, first off, did you watch the video? <laughs> I mean, I said at the outset, hey, I've lost quite a bit, but I still have a long way to go. This is by no means, I mean, and in the video, I show you where I started and tell you where I started and show you where I'm at and tell you where I'm at and show pictures of befores and current and do you think I don't know that I'm big? Do you need to be that mean? Wow. So I have reached enough subscribers that I'm getting trolled now. So, I mean, people like that don't hurt my heart. What? But I'll tell you what, I had to share it on my Facebook page with my friends and family and they were not happy. They were like, what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that was entertaining. Uh, it was. It, it's, it's like I have arrived in YouTubeville. I, 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 I'm being trolled now, and I've left the post. I personally did not comment back. I'm not gonna feed the troll. I debated. It. My, my, my choices were just delete her and say whatever. Let her have her say and ignore it, or respond and feed the troll. I chose not to give her credence. I mean, first off, I saw your profile picture, lady. Yeah, you're not that special. Uh, and everything you said is so negative. I mean, are you trying to steal somebody's joy out of any progress they can make trying to be healthier? And, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, uh, that's, that's new. That was a new development in my YouTube-ness. Uh... That is about it for this week. I do not know where this week's going to be. Once again, remodeling and such. But even though some people don't want to say positive things, I still like to hear from y'all. So comment. <laughs> and you have a beautiful day. And I will catch you on the flip side.